project started a year and a half ago when I was having a conversation with the business manager at Derby County Community Trust and I was talking about the idea of how it would be fantastic to create a bespoke shed for Derby that reflected the voices and the opinions of young people who work and live and study in this city. I'm gonna be something Patience, so one of the key things for me was that this was a co-designed installation and it was also co-created with different schools, with the inclusion hubs, with students from the University of Derby, with staff and researchers from the University of Derby and that we also widened the opportunity to artists that were living and working in the city that weren't necessarily in formal education that wanted an opportunity to have a creative outlet um, to show their practice whatever medium that was and that we would then create a series of shed commissions for artists to express themselves. So alongside all of the stakeholder partners that we've been working with on the project, we've also been able to speak to people that we didn't know before. And so we've got seven fantastic artists who have worked across the medium of film, sound and sculpture and uh, fine art practice and poetry as well and photography and we've been able to curate them in a way that collectively they're saying something really important about what Derby means to them and what they want to see happen and for us this installation is a call to action, a call for change. It's saying this is what young people in this city think and feel about where they live, where they work, where they study and it's also saying these are the issues that we shouldn't be avoiding discussing. We need these safe spaces, so SHED is a safe space to have those conversations and for people to be able to reflect and profile the talent, the immense talent that's in this city and say come on let's make change, let's listen, let's learn and let's create opportunities for more cultural and creative diversity to happen in Derby. It's important mainly for the fact that there's so many individuals which go hidden or missed by that can really contribute something that can really whether it may be something holistically or whether it may be something practical I think it's, um, it's yeah it's, it's really important for projects like this to, to happen yes. It's really great. It's great to see like so many artists being involved in this. And also all of us I think are like emerging artists as well from like Derby and Derbyshire, Nottingham. So we all had this like amazing opportunity to be involved in this and it's like a really big thing for all of us as well. Well it's helped me how to work on commissions because I've never really done big commissions like this before. I've only done little pieces. So it's it's helped me in the sort of the business side of it and everything like that. But it's also I mean, I was pushing myself with the style and the colours, so it's helped me become a better artist overall. And um, it's very important to me um, to have my work in an open space because I want the community to be able to come and just look at something and, and you know, gain something from it. You never know what someone's going to gain from a piece of art, and that's the beauty of art because people see things in different ways. Being able to share in a safe place is very important. So let's rewind and come again. We spoke about belonging. We I think it's opened up our eyes to how we should listen and engage. And I don't think there's been a better project that I've ever seen. For me, the concept of the Civic Lab, which isn't just the creatives, is actually should be at the heart of the institution. We should invest in them today because they will be the leaders of tomorrow. We hear that a lot. But they're leading right now. They're leading today. The question is, are we listening? 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 Are we listening?